Dennis Hong, who is a mechanical engineer that is specialized in robotics and artificial intelligence training, recently tweeted out a picture talking about Tesla AI Day, and he also confirmed the time. Thank you, Dennis. We weren't exactly sure when it was going to be, or where. Elon just said that there would be an AI Day on August 19th, but thanks to Dennis, we now also know that it's at Palo Alto, no surprise there, and it's at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, so that means for you East Coast people, it's going to be 8 o'clock at night. This is gonna be a late one, so maybe get the coffee makers ready, I imagine. AI Day is not going to be a short event, and I retract my previous statement saying that we wouldn't hear too much about Dojo, because I thought it was mainly trying to be a recruitment event, and just kinda keeping people updated with what to expect, but after today's tweet, and Elon replying to someone else saying that there would be a lot of talk about the Dojo supercomputer, this is making me think Dojo might be the main star of the show here. This is the hardware that Tesla has been working on. It's essentially going to be receiving all of this data from their vehicles, all of the interventions from the FSD beta, and all of the interactions people take when they correct autopilot on the street. Finding out what those corrections are and learning how to improve self-driving software at a astounding rate, which honestly is I think what Tesla really really needs right now. They need another breakthrough. They need a giant overwhelming re-architecture at how self-driving is going to be achieved because frankly I've seen the full self-driving beta 9 videos and I've even seen some of the beta 9.1 videos. There's improvements here and there, don't get me wrong, and all of this software and code is likely being done by hand, as in software engineers are seeing the changes and they're seeing the interventions and disengagements and all the mistakes that the software is making, and then going, okay, let's try to fix that, and they will go into the software, change the sensitivity of the Tesla's confidence, and try to have it understand its surroundings better, and some Sometimes they fix certain problems, and other times they create new ones. So they need supercomputers like Tesla Dojo to be able to interpret all of this data and write code better than a human ever could and make drivers, honestly, much better than people could ever be. Because right now, it's kind of like watching a baby drive in its current state, and there are definitely certain circumstances where you can do a complete drive with zero interventions, but I think it's safe to say it's not the majority of the time. When a Tesla does make make a zero intervention drive, it's kind of a big deal, and people make note of it, like, wow, look, it didn't need any help. And in order to roll this out to the masses, in order to actually start achieving level three autonomous driving, we're gonna need the zero disengagement drives to become very, very common. And just having software engineers tinker and look at all these edge cases is probably just not going to be feasible, although Tesla needs as many employees and software engineers working on this as possible, but just having each individual engineer work on every single edge case they could possibly find just in the limited beta of FSD between 2,000 people, let alone how crazy is it going to get when they start allowing the beta button on vehicles. Now you're going to be having hundreds of thousands of people have access to this software, finding different problems and different edge cases. You are going to need a supercomputer with the capabilities of Dojo to be able to understand how to make the code better, and using artificial intelligence and machine learning is probably probably Tesla's best bet at actually achieving their robo-taxi dream they have in mind, but frankly, I think it's a whole other can of worms to try to get the artificial intelligence and Dojo working properly so that it understands exactly how to make the cars drive better overall and not inadvertently create more problems. It's probably going to be looking at people's drives and routes from point A to point B, and it will alter the code specifically so that there's less disengagements and figure out exactly what plan of software and what tinkering of the code results in there being less disengagements overall, which means that RoboTaxi is probably not going to be ready by the end of this year. Maybe even full self-driving, just in its feature complete form, will not be ready by the end of this year. There's actually a good chance that Dojo will not even be ready by the end of 2021 because of how much fine-tuning has to go on. Because once you start having computers writing software that drives cars, there's a lot of risk involved, and you don't want to roll that out too quickly because if it starts causing problems or doing things incorrectly. You're going to have major issues and huge liability on Tesla's hands, but seeing the first look at how many individual cores there are and cooling architectures built into this chip that Dennis has tweeted out does get me excited that this is going to be, again, fairly similar to Autonomy Day, where they talk about the full self-driving chip and how Tesla, in order to achieve their goal, basically had to make the most powerful supercomputer in the world using their own custom processors and their own custom silicon that, yes, technically someone else is fabricating. I know Tesla 
Tesla's probably not manufacturing their own chips, but TSMC or Samsung or whoever it is that Tesla ends up going with is probably going to be able to do it cheaper than Tesla could anyway. So if they wanted to manufacture their own chips, you're probably going to have to wait another 12 to 18 months. Like Elon said on the last shareholder meeting, sure, there's a chip shortage and we do our best to accommodate that, but it's not just as simple as let's just build a new factory and start building our own chips. That's going to take a couple years. So basically this tweet got me more excited for AI day because as you guys know, I really don't think robo taxis are around the corner. And frankly, many people have also brought up that if Tesla could crack the robo taxi code and suddenly all of their vehicles could make them around $30,000 a year, why then would they be selling their vehicles to us, right? So technically, if Tesla does crack this code and finds a way to make autonomous driving work at level five, they will likely just build vehicles for the robo taxi fleet and stop selling them to us because they can make way more money as taxis. And at that point, we can't own these vehicles anymore. The only chance of using a Tesla for someone like me would be if I rent a robo taxi wherever I need to go, which I guess is cheaper than car ownership, which is good financially, but gets me less excited if I know in the future you can't even buy one yourself and you can basically just rent them when you want to go somewhere. I don't know if I want to be excited for that type of future because I do like owning my own car and I don't want to have to rent robo taxis everywhere I go. Even if it is technically cheaper, I just don't want to use a vehicle that's been used by like hundreds of other people in the last week and it's probably messy, stinky, and it's not mine. I can't customize it. I can't clean it the way I want to and have it the color of the way I want to and that type of thing. So I'm kind of okay if Tesla takes their time on this. You know, I'm all in favor of level three driving where I can get in the car and go to sleep and it can drive me where I want to go or I can just watch movies and TV shows and get some work done while the car is in motion. I'm fine with that. So I'm okay with full self-driving getting better and I'm all in favor of them rolling out the beta to more people and having a button deep within a bunch of fine print and liability check boxes that you have to go through so that not everybody just suddenly has the beta. I want that to come out to everyone by the end of this year, but I'm okay if Tesla takes their time with this and we don't assume robo taxis are going to come out in the next couple of years because I want Tesla to keep selling their vehicles to people, you know, <laughs> that's kind of important. So feel free to let me know what you guys think of Tesla Dojo at AI Day. Do you think that's going to be the main focus or is it just a very small piece of the puzzle? Feel free to let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.